ladybug on the trail this morning. Hey, happy Memorial Day. We are heading out, getting ready for uh, an interesting day. We got severe storms potentially in the forecast this afternoon, so we're going to try to cover some miles and uh, see if we can maybe hold up in a shelter if it gets really nasty, but who knows. So we'll see what the day holds. See you down trail. somebody ask about my trekking poles I have aluminum trekking poles they are nothing fancy black diamond makes the brand it's a good good brand reliable brand they are aluminum and uh, they are not nearly as light as bandits poles he's got um, carbon fiber poles but uh, you know the weight's not a huge difference. Uh, the poles have a couple different sections in them that uh, allow them to fold up and retract, which makes it easy for storage when we go and stay in hotels and pack them in cars and what have you. But uh, the other thing that's really useful with my trekking poles is they hold my tent up so I use them every time in setting that so they're multifunctional and help out a lot so any other questions about trekking poles feel free to put them in the comments we got a little uh, platform walk here I guess when the ground is soupy it's not real soupy right now, so we're just walking on the left side. Coming out of Front Royal, which is actually fairly close to uh, D.C. area. Uh, we're not that far from Dulles Airport, I know that, so it gives a little bit of perspective of where we are in the country. And uh, next big stop will be Harper's Ferry, so head in that direction. See you down trail. No trespassing U.S. government property. More of this fencing, it's like brand new fencing. And we were told yesterday by a section hiker that uh, it is. Uh, owned by the Smithsonian so sure looks like a lot of land a lot of buildings and a lot of fence kind of socked in today like I said we got turbulent weather ahead so I don't think we're going to get many views today we're just hoping not to get dumped on but um, that happens out here so we'll keep marching on time to rock hop across the creek love that sound
then back on into the forest. Started today, I think at mile marker 972.4. So, got a little climb coming up out of the gate. About a thousand foot, so expect to be heading up here soon. I'm going to hit a section called the Virginia Roller Coaster. Sounds exciting, right? Just yeah, that one came down recently. It's named that just because of all the ups and downs and uh, fear mongering is pretty popular out here. People like to create adjectives that make you worry about climbs and what have you but usually we find our <laughs> you know like anybody they tend to embellish and sometimes exaggerate the, the truth and we don't think this one will be any worse than anything we've faced thus far so but uh yeah we'll get it knocked out just another obstacle on the journey to harper's ferry here so let's see what lies ahead wow look at that got all kinds of stuff in here trail magic uh oh, oh. Rain. soda, got some ramen, ramen noodles, candy, Snickers bars, all kinds of stuff. Yep. I don't know if I need to. I don't need anything. I think about one of those sodas, but I really don't need it. <laughs> you get anything? No. Bandit was pointing out. We're in a section of poplar forest, and these poplar, they really get big. Um, these are moderately big, but some of them we've seen are just absolutely huge. Uh, he explained to me that the wood is super soft, so not really good for a whole lot, but they sure are pretty to look at, I can tell you that. And they give a different look to the forest up here. You can see up ahead we got a little bit of mist and cloudiness. We're still in that unsettled weather pattern. So, But so far so good. Outside of just being very humid, very lush and very green, we've had a nice fairly decent hike today. We already finished up about a thousand foot climb out of the gate. So that's I think our biggest climb of the day and uh, we'll keep cruising on we got a couple shelters ahead that we can uh, seek a, a shelter if we need to it's supposed to be maybe some thunderstorms burn up light chance of tornadoes and then uh, hail so trying to stay out of the thunderstorms lightning and hail uh, if at all possible, but uh, those shelter options might give us a reprieve if we have an emergency. So, but we'll see. We we'll keep trucking on. That's one thing with all the rains we've had. This place is very lush, isn't it? We got green everywhere, folks. There's the poison oak bench, which we're going to take a rain check on sitting in. Oh man, got a dog up here. 
Well, this is for Chuck McKinney. I see a bench, but I'm see, not so. sitting on that. Too much poison over there. Thanks, but no thanks. Let's just let this lady on by. Record the cut through here. Do a little metal cut through. You see the clouds rolling in up ahead. You can actually see them moving across the field a little bit. I don't think the camera's picking that up though. It's a little breezy. You can just tell the air is a little unsettled today. But we're cutting through some grass here. And a uh, little metal walk. Just uh, right at seven miles already for the day, so we got an early start trying to get in as much as possible before the showers hit. And uh, making good time so far, so. Tucker's and John Marshall Parkway. Looks like the AT goes across here. And I believe up here we're going across to maybe I-66 or going under maybe. Pretty sure AT goes this direction. We'll check our bearings and see here in just a bit. They got big old white blazes out here on I-66, folks. 
see them on that pile on there. I'm used to seeing them a little bit smaller, but they didn't want us to go the wrong way, so they painted a big one on that one. But yeah, we did confirm we're going underneath uh, I-66 here and uh, north or eastbound, westbound would be. You get a different kind of wildlife. <laughs> yeah, I see a blaze on up here by the tree, so I know we're going the right, right direction. See a little further down trail. Got a nice little house over here. Wouldn't that be nice to have the AT right outside your back door? Or front door in this case. Alright, we're going to move this direction. Nice cool little rock, painted rock. Cool little tradition, I guess, here in uh, Virginia. Going up. Beautiful little stream here we're crossing. And back into the woods we go. Got a rock. And a blow down. Been some nice uh, cruisy sections of trail here. It's really nice as it's been kind of groomed out and uh, closing in on 15 mile mark. Uh, but it's uh, been fairly smooth and uh, very good trail maintenance in this section here so I've actually been able to look up off the trail a little more often admiring the poplar forest huge trees I'm kind of walking into a cloudy area right now up ahead you can just see the fog still setting in we managed thus far to invert the rain and uh, it's been a really good hiking day. A few good climbs, but that there's leaning in it. That's a oak, isn't it? Yep. Yes, he is. That's oak. Uh, that's oak. Three huge ones coming out of the same trunk. Very cool look. Wonder what made that hole. <laughs> A lot of natural beauty through here. I guess we'll head left. <laughs> Keep cruising north, that's the goal, right? Yeah, we both have watched a lot of YouTube videos and, uh, you know, a the AT gets glamorized a lot and sometimes people will come and think that the trail is going to look like this the whole way through. Nice and flat, groomed out. This here is a rarity though. 
It's nice when you get it though. All right, we got a quick little view of a tulip off of a tulip pop poplar. You say that right? <laughs> They're beautiful. We see the petals all around here, but uh, Bandit found one right there and intact on the ground. We thought we'd check it out and show you. Meadow here. Cut through the corral here. Just closing in on 19 miles for the day. We're gonna try to get on down here to this next shelter. As we hit the state park, and we're not really supposed to camp anywhere in the state park except for the designated shelters. So, oh. we'll uh, see if we can get to that shelter then. So that'll be the goal for today. Should end up being a 20 pluser, so good productive day for us. So we'll see you down trail. Snake up in the tree there. Sitting there checking me out. Good evening everybody uh, we got uh, settled in avoided all the rain got our tent set up here uh, we're at mile uh, 996 uh, so just four miles away from the 1,000 yard the 1,000 mile mark and uh, excited about hitting that tomorrow and uh, won't be long uh, later on this week we'll roll into harper's ferry and uh hit the unofficial halfway point so excited about that as well but uh yeah we got got through without the rain got our tent set up now we just need to rest and relax and hope it doesn't rain too much hope it doesn't thunderstorm we've been lucky thus far so maybe we'll be lucky the rest of this evening but uh Yep, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate y'all watching. And from the uh, inside the tent cam, uh, wishing y'all the best uh, finishing up the holiday weekend and uh, talk to you more down the trail.